In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an interactive drop-down list in Microsoft Excel that automatically populates text and other areas of your form. We're going to do this using a simple VLOOKUP formula. And in this example, we're going to use an invoice that actually is linked with a vendor contact list so that I can pull in that vendor's mailing address and contact information into the invoice. Let's take a look. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to create a drop down list just like this, where when we want to set up the bill to information, uh, we're going to select the vendor and then that vendor's contact information and mailing address will automatically populate on your invoice. Once you have that, you can actually hit file and then print and you can print to PDF and this will save your invoice as a PDF that you can then send to that vendor. So um, to do this, uh, it's fairly simple to actually set this up. So we're just going to walk through exactly how to do it from scratch. So the first thing you're going to want to do is include in your invoice template another tab where we have your actual vendor list. And this can be a database that you pull from somewhere and paste into your spreadsheet, or you can create it and type it um, however you need to create your vendor contact list. But here we've included a vendor name, their contact, um, their address, city, state, and zip, phone number, and email address. And so you may have, you know, several different rows of information that you want to include on this list. And what you'll want to do is once you've created your spreadsheet, um, click on any cell within the, the spreadsheet that you have data and you hit control T and it will turn that into a table. And so once that becomes a table, it allows that drop down list that you're going to program to become more interactive. And so as you add new rows or make updates, maybe you make a correction to a contact name or something like that on your spreadsheet. Uh, once that's linked into the drop down list, then all you have to do is make your update here on this tab and it will automatically update the drop down list on your invoice. So let's go over to a blank invoice here and look at exactly how we're going to set this up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the drop down list here. And to do that, we're going to come up to data, come over to the data tools, the drop down and select data validation. From here under the allow select list, the source, put your cursor in the source and then come over here to the vendor list. And we're going to select column A and that'll select the entire um, column A and that's going to be the vendor name. So you're, it's essentially creating a drop down list of all the different vendor names that you have over here on this tab of the spreadsheet and then just click OK. And so now I'm going to highlight this just so that it stands out a little bit that we know this is an input column. You don't have to keep it highlighted. You can keep it um, plain and simple um, with no fill color, um, however you want to do it. But just for the purposes, we want to make sure that that's um, filled in. So here you can see now we have our drop down list where we can select um, the different vendors from that column of information. So we've got our drop down list. And so now what we want to do is insert VLOOKUP formulas to insert the rest of the information that we want to populate on our invoice, like their address and phone number and so forth. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to insert a VLOOKUP formula. If you've never used VLOOKUP, it's really easy to use. Come to the function library under the formulas tab and under the lookup and reference formulas, scroll all the way down until you find VLOOKUP. Once you use it, it will um, show up in your frequently used list here that you can select from. The value that you're going to put here is going to be this cell of the drop down, cell A10. So we want uh, the, what we want the VLOOKUP formula to do is look to that cell as your reference cell. Then the table array is going to include the entire um, vendor list here. So we are going to select all of the columns in the spreadsheet here. Then what we're going to do, the column index number is the counting the number of columns over which column do you want to return? And so the first column we want to return is the vendor contact name. That's column B. That's the second column over. So we put number two there. And then for range lookup, the way VLOOKUP works, we're going to put false um, because we want the exact value to be returned. And that's uh, part of the VLOOKUP formula. And then we'll just click OK. 
And right now um, it's going to show us NA because we don't have anything selected. But once we have um, one of our items selected, it will show up um, appropriately. So now what we want to do is include, we want to copy that VLOOKUP formula down and include for um, the street address, the phone number, and all those other columns of information to appear below. So all we have to do to do that is select the cell that we just placed the VLOOKUP formula in, and we're gonna copy it. Come up here to um, our window up here and hit Control C to copy. I place my cursor at the end and hit Enter. And then I'm in the cell below. And in the cell below, I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna paste that formula but I'm gonna replace number two with number three because I want column number three to return there. And I'm gonna hit enter. And then that is gonna bring back the street address because if you remember, column number three is the address. Then we're gonna, do, we're gonna paste this formula. We're gonna do column four and five and six. So we're gonna come up, we're gonna copy our formula. We're gonna place our cursor at the end, hit enter. We're gonna come down here. We're gonna double click inside and paste, and we're gonna replace this with number four. And we're gonna to come to the end with our cursor and hit enter. Then we're going to double click in here again. We're going to paste, and we're gonna replace that with number five. Come to the end and hit enter. And then finally, we're going to come in to the last cell. We're gonna paste it again, replace that with number six, place our cursor at the end and hit enter. So now we have all of our vendor's contact information in the form, easily selectable. So you can um, select the next row and all of their information will populate onto your invoice for you. Again, don't forget, you're not gonna send the spreadsheet out to the client. Obviously, you're gonna save it as a PDF or just uh, as a single spreadsheet version uh, without the vendor list database on it. And that way you can send them their single customized invoice with their contact information on there. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.